Hello guys and welcome back. Now let's see what Satan has for us because I see him with some with a blue box. Can we borrow some of your stuff, Satan? Well, I suppose so. I was hoping to sell it on eBay, but I've received no bids. You know, your screen name, Father of Lies 666, might have something to do with that. Let's see here. One super long barbed paperclip chain. And the popper said you weren't being productive. Hmm. Snack sized bag of pork rinds. Great taste from the great deceiver. And one grocery list written on company letterhead. I know you're the source of all evil, but wasting office supplies for personal use, that's just wrong. Well, he's evil. Now let's go back to the hell. Distract Mr. Bliss for me. Hmm, I seem to be completely naked. Oh dear. Hope I don't have to bend over provocatively to... That's enough, Max. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here again. I said hell, because we're in hell. Glad to be back from hell. Oh, heck yeah! I'm just disappointed the f***ing never showed up at the hospital. It was my dying wish to see him, because I'm the biggest fan ever! No, Timmy, that's wrong. Max is right. The poppers are evil, wicked creatures. And besides, I'm their biggest fan ever. No freaking way! Ask me anything about them! What's Peeper's real name? He's... It's Dick Pika. Ah. ah. Sorry, Mr. Max. I'm just a melon farming trivia machine. Sure. See you later, Timmy. Have a flippin' great day. Okay. Let's go to speak first. But we use oh. only the freshest ingredients in our popper's own forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. One sip, and for the first time, you know the difference between good and evil. I don't know. I've heard some bad things. Ah, our competitors are just afraid that if you start selling this, you'll become too successful. I don't need to tell you the advantages of an exclusive beverage distribution deal, seeing as how you're such a savvy businesswoman. <laughs> well, Grandpa Stinky's back. 
Let's take this. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Now let's go to pop What? Why hey guys, you're just in time for the stripper. Ho ho ho, boy! Wow, that's the... What the fuck? Oh god! Woo! Oh yeah. my fucking god, no. She that is just... Maker. Take it off! Wrong. Take it off! On many levels. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. But I didn't think it was this bad. You people should be ashamed. It's a living. No, it's not, monster. It's horrible. Flint, you of all people should see how wrong this is. Ah, take a powder, chaplain. Take off your hi hat and get a gander at the floor show. Um. No thanks, Flint. This ought to add some kick to their punch. Well, boys, another round? Oh, dear. Oh, man. Oh, no. I'm naked! I'm naked! I'm naked! Oh, I thought we were all just saying that. What have I done? I'm so ashamed. Here goes my innocence. I should have known hiring a budget stripper was a bad idea. Cool your heels, Flattop. The show's over, but I was just getting started. I knew it. There is no use for me. Oh. Conga line, who's with me? I am. Okay. Now, let's take something from Monster. Do you mind if we perform some quick elective surgery? Whatever. I'm just a monster with no soul. Who cares about my feelings? Great, thanks! A fool and his weapons are soon parted. I got a rip. Now let's get out. Now let's go to Sybil. Max, what's her situation? Peepers is making the move on Sybil. She's totally into it. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure my dementia hasn't kicked in early. You can forget all about old stone face. Peepers is the only man you need. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, Peepers. Okay, let's interrupt this fuck quest. You just let Peepers know how you want it, baby. Say my name. Say my name. Dick Peacock. Hey, Dick Peacock. What? What? You ruined everything. What have you done to his eyes? You still want to make out? Oh, hell no. <laughs> well, we've saved Sybil from a lifetime of regret. Yeah. And given ourselves a blackmail opportunity to secure our financial future. Well, one down, two more to go. Make sure you read.
read the license agreement first, Sam. It's very important. Just start playing. I think I saw the face of God. You've got to admit it, Spex. <laughs> you just got served like big ziti at a mafia wedding. I don't know what that means, but I don't care. You will pay for this, Salmon Max. Yeah, fuck you too. Don't be sad. What would you do with a golden fiddle anyway? When this case is over, Max and I will come back to teach you guys about bling. Yeah. Well, now we have to take care of Wizard. Hey, Grandpa Stinky. We found Stinky's baby book. Good, good. Quick, read page 33. Well, I'm gonna take the things with a cover on it, don't think. Put it here. Out loud, you cretin! Oh, but uh, let's see. Fish sticks, tar, coffee, ice cream. What kind of baby book is this, anyway? It's a cookbook! Well, the name of the recipe! Read the name! The Cake of the Dam. What the fuck? Huh? What? Hee <laughs> that'll teach her. Well, maybe you, good sir, would like to hear more about the delicious forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. What have I done? Oh. Yeah, let's re What? What happened? Sam turned you back into a cake, but then we... Oh, whatever. Look, Mr. Wizard, thanks for taking all this time to talk to us, but we're not interested. What if you just... The lady said we ain't interested. Then yeah. maybe you... I believe the two of us have made ourselves clear. Ah, fine then. It's too good for you, Chosen. Yeah, fuck you too, Wizard. Stay gone. Looks like you two have learned an important lesson about cooperation. Fine. Are you going to order something? You can't just offer something, woman. You got to push the specials. I think I can do fine without your input, Grandpa. Oh, you yeah, can, can you? These two aren't going to get along at all. Okay, we took care of all the free poppers. Now what? Satan. We took care of all three of those poppers. Well done, lads. Now come with me and watch Satan do what he knows best. I'm intrigued. Boardroom negotiations and corporate power plays. Oh, no. well, that sucks. There you go. Poppers. It's time we put an end to this charade and returned hell to its rightful owner. Yeah. What Satan said. Poppers assume demon form. Demon form. Behold, what? Papers the omniscient, he of the death gaze. Uh, whoa. No bother. Uh, Behold, whispering on the tormentor. It burns when I Okay. I did not need to see that. Behold, Specs the Dominator of... Oh, come on. Those are your demon forms? What the fuck is going on? Colors? Why am I always the only one who puts any effort into these things? Sam, I'm not enjoying the poppers anymore. Can I Me kill too. them? Not if I get them first. Please. Banish the irritants! Sam and what? Max, we cast you into the pit. By the power of the bell! By the power of the bell? What the fuck? Oh my fucking god, no. And the book! No. And the candle! We're fucked! So be it! Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill these little sons of bitches. Wait a minute. I remember this. 
This is back to United Station Center. Well, Max, unless we learn how to fly, we're destined to spend the remainder of our days on a tiny outcropping surrounded by impossibly hot lava, ash, and soot. I don't mind, Sam, as long as I'm with my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, little pal. Hey, give me one of those pork rinds you were carrying. Sorry, buddy. I already ate them all. We're gonna die! And the sleigh. By the ruby red goiters of Rube Goldberg. Look, Max, it's Santa's sleigh. What an unexpected stroke of luck. Or is it, Max? Remember that time long ago when we jacked Santa's sleigh in an effort to save Christmas and drove it recklessly into a hellish vision of the future very much like the one we're standing in now? I stopped paying attention halfway through that sentence. I wonder if our ghosts are here guiding us right now. Hey, past me! Check this out! Classy as always, little pal. Now let's get out yeah, of here. Yeah, now it's time to deal with the fucking poppers and stop them for once and for all. Abandon all! Oh, oh, oh! You who enter here, here! Whoa! Throw hell! You escaped? That's highly implausible! Come on! Yeah, fuck you too. This baby out and Donuts around the seventh circle. It's out of power, little buddy. Guess I shouldn't have left the afterburners on. Ah. Uh, wait a minute. Max? Sam let no, Max answer the phone? No, Sam's here. I don't know. He just let me answer it. Huh. Is it cold in here to you, Max? I should have worn my mucklucks. Uh, and there's Mrs. Max Fox. And an ice cream What's that, Commissioner? I won the Nobel Peace Prize? Oh, Congrats, nice! Pal. I can't think of anyone who deserves it more. Whose name I'd be able to pronounce. Okay, thanks, Commissioner. Okay, get Roger that. Love you, too. Do we have a new case, little buddy? Nah, same one. But Sybil wants me to officiate at her wedding. Oh, nice! Well, that'll be fun. We better hurry up and restore the balance of power and hell, then. A little help here, guys. Uh, um, sure, Satan. Okay. Next time we will deal with the solar poppers and defeat them for once and for all. Bye guys.